I'm Judy Crane and welcome to my free art lesson. Um, if you would like to get an idea of how I've set up my palette and the things that I use, please check out my starter set video at jerrysartorama.com and uh, you'll get all the information you need to get started. What I want to talk about today is reflected light and colorful shadows. I feel like so many times um, there's a tendency to do a wonderful painting with very dead, um, dull shadows. I would like to show you a couple things. This is a photograph. Um, I'm not going to paint this photograph, but I did want to point out that the shadow from this vase is falling on two different uh, surfaces, a pink surface and a light green surface. And the shadow needs to look translucent going over the surface and it changes colors even though it reads as one shadow. So when you're putting shadow onto a ground, um, think about what's under it and what's reflecting on it. This photograph is actually a blue bowl and it is, the whole bowl, the whole bowl is the same color, but it's sitting on this bright orange base and all this wonderful orange light is reflecting up into the to the bottom of the bowl. So that's what um, I want to concentrate on here today, is how to capture that reflected light. Of course, one issue is also to be able to draw the bowl. Um, so I will say this bowl is going to be about that wide. And for this exercise, don't worry if you can't draw a perfect bowl you're really trying to uh, look at the reflected light. So, bowl is coming down here. And it's on a surface. And I want to make this distinction that that surface changes colors at that point. So, let's start out with um, the fact that this is, this is what we want to concentrate on. That's the most interesting thing about this to me. So I'm mixing up some of my Indian yellow with um, a little permanent rose and I'm actually going to put that transparent, translucent color of orange in the bottom of the bowl. To start with. I'm not going to paint a blue bowl and then add orange into it because I'd never be able to get that glow that I feel is happening here. So there we have the orange bowl. I'm going to put some blue in the center of the bowl because we do need to know that it's a blue bowl in order to appreciate what a wonderful glow we're getting from that transparent light. So here's the Here's the blue bowl. And in reality, the blue bowl is a little lighter over here because it's going, light is coming from over here. So we'll just put a little light on there to make the shadow make sense. That means it's a little darker over here, so Take a little darker paint, put down that side so that this bowl feels a little more 3D, three-dimensional. Here is the shadow. The shadow is going to start under here and come off. We want this shadow and it. The shadow is coming back over here. We want this shadow to be an interesting color. And when I look at that, I see it as almost a purple color because it's falling on that orange. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put some bright orange under here so that we know what's reflected. this. 
Okay, now bright orange down in this section, going behind the bowl, shadow. Let's get a purple kind of orange shadow in here. And again, that seems to be reflecting some of the orange that's coming from the bowl. Behind that is a much darker opaque shadow that's falling from something else. So we have a glowing shadow down here. dark shadow back here because it's actually on a darker surface. Now let's figure out how we can make that side of that bowl look like it's actually part of the bowl itself because we do know it's a blue bowl. So we can take a little bit of blue, a little bit of light blue because it is being reflected and just touch it into that orange in some places. Letting the transparency show through. And I'm going to put a little light lip on the edge of the bowl here. darker with our shadow under here. And there we have a blue bowl, which has now become quite interesting because it has this wonderful glow to it. Um, we can add a little bit more blue in it, but just in little pieces because it is actually glowing because it's reflecting off of this reflective color here. So shadows both on the side of the bowl, which is in shadow, are affected by the reflected light coming up from the orange cloth and the shadows that are on the ground or on the base here are affected by the light of the base color underneath them. I hope you've enjoyed this free art lesson on reflected color and uh, hope to see you on one of my DVDs.